Hi, I'm Dr. Jonathan Roth from Wayne, New Jersey, and today we're going to go over simultaneous viewing technique of a bank art and remplissage uh, using the nano needle and panoscope. So we can see on the specimen there is an anterior inferior labral tear going from about 3 o'clock on the glenoid all the way down to 6 o'clock with loose labrum. And as we pan around the humeral head, we see the corresponding hill sacs lesion here consistent with an anterior inferior shoulder dislocation. I like to use an ASL portal as a secondary working portal up in this corner right behind the biceps. I like to insert a short nano working cannula in this area for our nano instruments which keeps it out of the way from our large working portal just off the superior border of the subscapularis. Using the nano needle and the ASL portal look down on the bank art tears so I can watch my elevator come in and free up the whole labrum from both directions, both from the posterior portal and then from superior to inferior. And using my elevator, I can free up the labrum and really make sure I am releasing all of the adhesions and getting the labrum very mobile prior to repair. So now we are going to start the bank art repair, bring in our curved drill guide. It has a laser line for the direction of the curve and we can get way down low and angle it into the glenoid surface. And we insert the anchor and mallet it in. flush with the handle and we can release the sutures and remove everything grab the sutures and seat the anchor again now another benefit of using the nano needle is identifying how much capsule we're taking so I like to use the nano needle again in the ASL portal coming down and having it held there while I grab my capsule. So using both views I can see really how much capsule I am taking. From my poster portal I see where I'm aiming and from the ASL with the nano needle I can really identify uh, how much capsule and where I'm grabbing it in relation to the labrum. Okay now we can retrieve with the nano grasper through the ASL portal the lasso and the repair stitch. Now we pass the suture back through the anchor using the loop. All right, and shuttle. And at this point I will tension it, but leave it slightly loose until final tensioning at the very end of the case. So we'll put in a few more anchors to finish this bank art repair leaving the tails long for final tensioning at the end. However, once they're all done, we will leave them out of our anterior portal, leaving our nano working cannula free for fluid management later on. As you can see, we kept the labral repair loose. We can still move the labrum. This allows us to still get visualization in the back of the shoulder for the remplissage and not overstress our repair. We will tighten this up at the very end uh, to complete the repair later. So now we have the nano needle in subacromial space. We prepared it, uh, taking note primarily of the posterior uh, space, getting rid of the bursa so we can see the musculotendinous junction of the infraspinatus, our target for our needles and for our remplissage. You can even see our panoscope going through intraarticularly at the subacromial space, and we continue to have the panoscope intraarticularly looking at the hill sacs lesion. I'd like to direct your attention to outside the patient so you can see where our hand position is and where our fluid management is. The pump is going into the subacromial space through this nano working portal and we have a syringe of fluid attached to the camera to give a little extra pressure of water intraarticularly whenever we need it. All right so we insert a percutaneous spinal needle just inferior lateral posterior to our lateral working portal. So the goal is to use the percutaneous needle and get through 
the musculotendinous junction of the infraspinatus while the shoulder is in internal rotation so we don't over tighten the shoulder. And by internally rotating the shoulder, the infraspinatus will lie flat in the heel sacs lesion, which will limit over capture of the infraspinatus and capsule and prevent over tightening and loss of range of motion postoperatively. All right, now we make a little stab incision at our guide wire. We dilate over it with the percutaneous kit. So now we put the crown tipped high flow sheath over the dilator, which will act as our drill guide. Once this high flow sheath is in place, we can attach the drill guide handle to it to now complete it as the drill guide for our posterior anchors. After drill, we're now inserting the anchor, mallet it in, flush. After malleting in, make sure it's well seated. Remove the rubber grommet. Remove the anchor. All right. And then you can unscrew the black handle. And it's important to leave this high flow sheath in place and taut against the bone in order to protect our sutures during our future steps. So what's great is now we can go back to the subacromial space using our nano needle and then watch as our needle comes in for our superior anchor placement. We can see that our superior anchor will be at the musculotendinous junction of the infraspinatus and we can confirm that they will be of similar trajectory. So we're going to repeat the same steps as the inferior anchor with our superior anchor and we'll be back when both anchors are in. Now that we've confirmed that our anchors are in good position and we can see the sheaths in the subacromial space with the nano needle, we can remove the sheaths to show our sutures and then begin the convergence of the two anchors. So now we can concentrate on the nano needle in the subacromial space. Now we're going to retrieve the repair suture from the inferior anchor and the loop suture from the superior anchor to start completing our convergence. So now we're going to convert both anchors and get them ready for tensioning. So if we're not getting good visualization from this lateral portal, we can easily move the nano needle to the anterior superior lateral working portal that we have established already. And that is one of the beauties of the nano needle is we can change position very easily to get better visualization uh, depending on what we're doing with it. So I like to make sure that there's no loops uh, or knots going on before we fully convert. So we can take each loop and just give a little pull, make sure there's no twist going on in either of our convergence stitches. Now we can finalize the tension on the remplissage while visualizing both intraarticular and from the subcriminal space. So now we've confirmed from both above and below that we have excellent reduction of the infraspinatus into the hill sacs, completing the remplissage, and we are very confident that we have good fill and good tension from both sides. So now let's finish up our bank guard tensioning and finish the case. All right, we've already tensioned the most inferior anchor, and now we're going to progress superiorly with our middle anchor. Look how nice that brings up a bumper. And finally, we can tension the most superior anchor. Again, look at that tension. And we can watch it from both the anterior superior lateral portal with the nanoscope as well as posteriorly from the panoscope. And now we will cut them flush at the surface. So after final tensioning, we have an excellent repair of the anterior labral tear with good reapproximation of the labrum back onto the glenoid surface and we can visualize our remplissage with the infraspinatus fully filling the hill sacs defect unable to even see any of the hill sacs lesion anymore with this dual view only made possible with the synergy vision system